Hey guys, Alexis here. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the opinions of others. So many times we do this thing where we worry about, you know, what others think, what they're going to have to say about you making this decision, what your mom got to think about it, what your friends, cousin, and all these different people. And then it really just kind of confuses us. We don't know, like, is this me? Is this God? What am I doing? Instead of making the best decision based on what God said and what you know to be true. We look at the facts when we look at, you know, what data says, what culture says, what our parents says. It's going to be different than what we're going through. So sometimes we we'll let those things deter us from making the decisions that we need to. So today we're going to be praying against the opinions of others. We're going to be praying that we make the right decision, not just for us, but the right decision that God wants us to make, not based on culture or anything like that. So I remember when I was in college too, so it's a term called egocentric. So basically it's a term where you think of everything as if somebody looking at me, what they're gonna think about that. Like that's the term that that's the term that they use in psychology. And it's a normal feeling to have like kids have it. Something that you have in your adolescent stage where you're aware of yourself when you become aware of yourself. So it's that information to determine who we're gonna be but as we get older we should grow out of that and do what is best according to the kingdom and according to what god has called us to do in our purpose so we're going to be praying that god give us the strength not to worry about what other things this this and that the data the stats the facts but focus on what god said and our scripture for that comes from galatians 1 and 10 and it says or am i now trying to persuade people or god am i striving to please people if i were still trying to please people I will not be a servant of Christ. So that's our thought. If we're trying to serve people, sway people, uh, worry about what people say, whether it's your mama, sister, cousin, brother, baby daddy, whoever, if we're worried about them, we cannot be a servant of God. So we got to put one down. We're going to put that down today, whether we do it knowingly or unknowingly. Knowingly, you know, you might think, okay, I ain't really worried about, you know, what so-and-so think. But then when you before you make a decision, you're like, well, let me call my best and see what she got to say. Or before I go here, let me ask my mom. But like God wants us to put him in that space. And then after we decide, you and God decide what you're going to do, then you can choose how you want to move. Okay, so that's our thought. That's our idea. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going into. Trusting God and forgetting about everybody else. Okay, so let's go ahead and pray. Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for this word in Galatians 1 and 10. God, that we are a servant of you, so we don't have to worry about what so-and-so says, but we worry about you, Lord. We repent today for worrying about others, worrying about our friends, but not seeking your face first, God. We choose today and forevermore to seek you first, the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto us. Peace, joy, understanding, God. So we will not be worried about culture, worried about our friends, but we will worry about what you said, God. We don't care what it looks like. We are focused on the promise and your purpose that you want us to fulfill on earth lord we submit our lives to you we submit our hearts to you our way to you it is so in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 all right y'all thank you for watching like this video share with somebody let's continue growing god